at first at five school safety school districts across San Antonio scrambling to hire certified officers with a state law now in effect. That law requires armed security officers on all campuses during regular school hours. But our RJ Marquez tells us why. In particular, it's been a challenge for our larger school districts to fill those vacancies. This is a really unique job. It's uh, more of a profession than a job. We were really fortunate to hire some really qualified uh, police officers. Southwest ISD more than doubled its police force with the addition of 13 new officers. The district will now have a certified armed officer on every one of its 20 campuses. We went on a full court press to hire police officers. It, uh, it was kind of a challenge because, you know, the bill was passed late June. This particular bill was really uh, aimed at getting officers on elementary campuses. And with these new officers on the force, Southwest ISD is now compliant with House Bill 3, but reaching that requirement has been a bigger challenge for some of our larger school districts in the San Antonio area. The problem for us, um, as, as many districts I'm sure will attest, is that we're all looking for police officers now because of HB3. Northside ISD spokesperson Barry Perez said after the bill was enacted, the board approved 20 additional vacancies. Public school districts also have to fund these new positions. We have 33 vacancies on our police force, on our police department. Um, we're committed to active recruiting. We are committed to active retaining of those individuals. In an effort to meet the requirements, Northeast ISD created 46 safety specialist positions. The district has already hired 22 specialists to patrol its campuses. Our goal will always be to try to hire additional officers. However, Right now, at this moment in time, uh, there is a, a, a huge uh, deficiency in personnel statewide and, of course, the lack of funding. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.